In today's video, I got my 2003 Jeep PJ outside. We are gonna do a leak down test on the engine to see what the problem is because cylinders two and three, as you saw in the compression video, have low compression. So now we're gonna see what the problem is and why I got low vacuum in my engine. I got everything set up here. We've done a lot of work to this thing. We got the supercharger, Viper coil mod. What I did down there is I removed the fan and that's gonna give me access to get a wrench on the crankshaft turned over by hand. Right now we're gonna remove all the plugs and wires. That'll make it easier for the engine to turn over to find top dead center. So let's get started on that. Let's remove the plugs. What I have here is my OTC cylinder leakage tester and I rigged up this little jig right here. It's a fuel pressure vacuum gauge and I've got a little end right here so this is going to screw into the cylinder. This end is going to plug into there and when I crank over my engine by hand we're going to be able to see when we hit top dead center either by when it goes into vacuum or pressure when it hits the zero we know we're top dead center. All right, this is what I got going on. I actually had to remove the fan shroud and the fan so I can turn the crank over by hand for fuck's sakes. Because, without doing that, I'd be fighting with it. It would be like taking a shit in a space suit in space. It'd just be a fucking disaster. So spend an extra 10 minutes, remove that. We're all ready to go. Already did the first cylinder, got like six or 7% leakage. And uh, there's a couple of methods I used. Where's that little stupid vacuum gauge? Did my fucking Jeep eat it? Oh, here it is right here. I use this to kind of get me close, but then I stick in. I have a rod I stick in afterwards. It's right here. And then I turn it over slowly by hand with holding the rod, and I can feel if it goes up or down, and that's where I know where the magic spot is. So let's go into cylinder number two. Oh, I just dropped it. So on cylinder number one, I'm at 90 psi, and the cylinder's reading 85, 86. So I'm about six or seven percent leakage on cylinder number one cylinder number two isn't too bad i got 90 on the gauge about the same thing 85 on the needle well cylinder number three definitely has some issues there we gotta have to recheck the uh, top dead center and recheck it again and see what happens Yeah, I'm dead on. There you have it. So now that we found top dead center, take this. We're gonna plug in the cylinder leakage tester. Oh, get the fuck in there. See the engine turn there. Yeah, so you just gotta make sure once you find your TDC and you hook up the leak down testers, make fucking sure the engine doesn't turn over. Otherwise, you're gonna be panicking and wonder why your readings are low. You gotta make sure it stays up on there. Do a couple readings, spin it over a couple times, try it again, put it back in. Make sure it reads the same twice over. And there you have it. I stopped it after cylinder number four because I didn't need to go any farther. We know cylinder number three has the issues with the worn rings. That explains 
the low vacuum, like 10 inches of vacuum. Now you may say that it could be valves, it could be weak valve springs. However, if that was the case, the vacuum gauge in my truck, in my Jeep, would be bouncing, which it isn't. It stays at a steady low vacuum. Leak down test has proved, at least in my eyes, that Warren rings is a problem and cylinder number three. Why the other ones are not affected is beyond me, but somehow cylinder number three is shit to bed. Even though compression sits at 130, leak down percent is at 50%, so something happened there. We don't know, but we're going to drive with the supercharged engine until something motherfucking blows up. I just rechecked it again, and I'm right about 50, so that's uh, 10, 20, 30, almost 40 PSI loss. That's a lot of leakage in that cylinder somewhere. Got to try to figure out where it's coming from. Not hearing any air bubbling coming out of there. It's hard to tell. If we hear anything coming out the tailpipe. The problem right there, look when I spin this cap and listen. According to this, air escaping from crankcase breather, defective rings, worn cylinder walls. Sounds like that cylinder's taking a motherfucking beating. Oh yeah. You can see it right there, cylinder number four is good. I don't need to go any further. All right, it's motherfucking beer time now. That's what I'm talking about. Now we know what the problem is with the Jeep with cylinder number three. Cranked her over, hit 130. So the compression is still good but there's a lot of leakage 50 percent leakage at least so what i'm sitting on here is that could last a long time or something can give and that cylinder can just die we don't know yet i got the supercharger on it we're going to test it see how long it goes and then we're going to decide what we're going to do rebuild the engine put another one in i don't know what the fuck's going to happen yet anyways it's motherfucking beer time if you have any questions or comments, post it below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.